Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anybody else who comes along and sees this video. It's Sunday, July the 19th, and it's 10.08 a.m., and I decided to share this video because even though it's just pertaining to Arizona right now, it sounds to me like what is coming for the whole world, like maybe it's a pilot program you could say. I just have a feeling it's not going to be just Arizona. This is the Common Sense Show with Dave Hodges. If you've never seen him before, um, I believe that at least most of what he says is truthful, has good sources, and so forth. Uh, I don't watch him all the time. Okay, so he may have put out something here or there that you didn't agree with, but this this um, he's talking about this new law it says red alert Arizona mandates the vaccine ARS title 36 section 787 789 and he's reading off these laws they've passed as to where where the mask is required, where the vaccine will be required, but probably will be, uh, what's the word he used, rationed. Like, if they do get one out, there probably won't be enough for everybody. And by the time it does come out, they're going to have round two of this coronavirus and if our sister's vision comes to pass could it be a combination of the black plague with the coronavirus Lord help us and I pray and believe the first rapture is not far off and it could be the ninth of all or shortly thereafter when destruction begins in Israel, you know, Israel and Iran are about headed into war. And if you watch, um, okay, I didn't share that video. It, it, was, um, it was an Israeli News Live. Because you know he lived over there a while, so he still has connections over there. And Israel and Iran are at it. And somehow Russia and China are involved. I will find that video and link it. You might want to watch it, and it's not really long. But I truly believe these things will happen after the first fruits rapture. The 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 first fruits, the first gathering, whatever you want to call it, the first harvest. Jesus called it the barley harvest to me. The bride, despite how you interpret Revelation, the bride is the first fruits to God and to his lamb. And that's just, I'm sticking to that. <laughs> Might be my only opinion, but... I know that in my journal, after I received that message, when I st started asking the Lord for biblical confirmation, I know I had written, I believe it was Revelation. Let me pull that up. Let me pull up a new, wait a second. I got to have a new tab. Bible search Revelation fourteen four. Oh that's a hundred and forty four. See we were talking about that on in the chat. Oh my gosh. About who the hundred and forty four were. And listen, this is Revelation fourteen four. It that just hit me. Or if it did before, I don't remember it. 144. These are they which were not defiled 
with women, which we have, I have determined is the church, the God, ungodly, secular church buildings. They're, they're not secular in every way, but they are not godly. They don't, the Holy Spirit isn't welcome. They're teaching false doctrines. They're basically social clubs. They're not allowed to preach against politicians or abortions and other certain subjects that they have to answer to the law. The law controls them because they have that 501c3 tax deduction that benefits you when you give money to a 501c3 organization which they're not all churches some are like that chick time that my daughter was involved in that helps teenagers learn to love their self right that's what they were teaching them love yourself you're worth loving and yeah I believe in that but I think also what has to go along with that is loving God most, loving your neighbor as yourself. So you're adding loving yourself. Also, we had to love ourselves. Otherwise, how can we love our neighbor as ourself? So maybe it's a good thing, but I think that ministries like that should allow the whole package but no not that one it was just the teaching the girls love yourself and find your passion and go after it don't go after jesus no let's see you love to do hair let's help you get into beauty school that kind of thing again it's better than nothing these abandoned abused girls need love they need to be loved on. And so that makes it a good thing. But we can't call it a Christian organization. But anyway, how did I get off on that? I don't even remember. Um, oh, talking about 501c3 organizations. Yeah, you can donate to... Um, Animal shelters get a tax deduction. They have 501c3. So that's another one. Okay. <clears throat> so women is the church. The, the organized church. Especially the Catholic church. Okay. So these are they which were not defiled with women. For they are virgins. Virgins. In this instance means purified. You have purified yourself. You're spotless. You, you have made yourself holy. And then it goes on to say, These are they which follow the Lamb, whithersoever he goeth. You see, that's the bride. That's the people who love him. They follow him whithersoever he goeth. So these were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. So it doesn't just mean they were redeemed from men, because on earth is men and women. So these were redeemed from among mankind. Okay, sometimes you have to realize the wording is not literal. Okay. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. How can we ever be found without fault? By asking for forgiveness for whatever we did that day that displeased the Lord. Because no, 
Nobody is perfect. Okay. Going back to what I, the, the video, I don't even know how I got off on that. Okay, so he's reading the law and throwing in his commentary from time to time. So I believe this is worth your time. Uh, but I, w I think I was saying, Lord, help me. I should have prayed first. I'm so sleepy, y'all. It's only 10, 17 in the morning. I'm about to go back to bed. Anyway, this was streamed live 20 hours ago. So it's, it's a new law. He doesn't usually put up old stuff. It's, again, the Common Sense Show. The Common Sense Show. And it's called Red Alert. Arizona mandates the vaccine. A R S. I wonder if that means Arizona S. I don't know. Title 36, Section 787 789. With that, I'm going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection, myself and my computer. And over each and every single one of you and all of your devices and your internet connections. I pray that you all be counted worthy. We, we all be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Remember also that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. In Jesus' name, I claim that for all of us. Be ready. Let's all be found ready. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.